What up, fool? I, lo I already lowered the goddamn uh, ladder, you stupid idiot. Stupid kid. Just make reds. Very good. Do we need to go and find the cat? The cat and kink again? I don't know how to get to the tux though. And there's a lot of areas that we can access. This oh, there's the treasure on the roof. How the hell can we go there? How the hell can we go there? Yeah, I guess we've been everywhere. Uh, yeah, let me double check this area over here. Oh, it's uh, the same thing, the same area. Oh, okay, okay. This is the warehouse. King uh, around. How long are you going to hang uh, around here? Get out of here before you get hurt. No, oh, fuck you. You're not half bad. How about you come uh, work for me? <laughs> You'll get to do whatever you want in the city. First, I'll teach you how to take care of the of cats. Isn't that incredible? Cats are trash. Yeah, yeah, this guy is an idiot. This is the best way to kill time. Junk is brought uh, to this warehouse from the colonies all over uh, the place. There are lots of stuff that can be used uh, with a bit of fixing. Is that it? Well then, say hi to Tom for me. Now, I don't think we have the ability to go uh, back and forth at the moment. Maybe, uh, maybe in the future. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Let's explore the. Uh, the other uh, doors over here yes yes i kind of want to destroy that uh, that toy i'm gonna have to save before i actually do anything yeah, let me check this area out who lives here <laughs> The boss here says that uh, skill should be learned uh, through observation, but meanwhile he refuses to teach me anything. That's why I peek at the boss's work from here. So please, don't uh, tell anyone uh, about this. What do you... Who's your boss? Is that a... Schematics for robot? Is this the, uh, the baker? The baker's house? Probably. This is the baker's house. But these guys, like, uh... On the first floor. Let me destroy this. Okay. Okay. Where the hell is he? Can't see him.
Yeah, let's continue exploring this area. I see the picture. I see the picture. And the boss uh, hears uh, people like slaves. And then he says he's uh, too shy and won't uh, even set foot outside the, the shop. Good grief. Oh shit, that's Shion on a bagel. <laughs> what about the other picture to the left? Is that the, uh, the shop owner? It's probably him. That is uh, probably him. Oh. Is that him? Is that a boss? A boss. What is it? I'm on break right now. Please don't bother me during my precious time off. I'm the type that uh, just can't sit still when books aren't arranged neatly on bookshelves. You're a weirdo. I, t I tidy up every day. Ooh. Who would touch these books, though? These books were uh, given to us by a little master. Apparently, they're considered antique on the market, and I hear you could easily buy a large cruiser with this, uh, with uh, just the books uh, we have here. Damn. Then sell these uh, stupid-ass books uh, and get a cruiser. Of course, these books are uh, meant to be read, so I would never let them go. Whatever you say. Huh. How can I drop down there? Probably need to drop down there to, to pull on that switch. I don't know how. Uh, is this a tuxedo? There's something inside the pocket. I'll take it. Obtained a fish detector. All right. All right. This is the tuxedo. This is a goddamn tuxedo. Item allows you to catch fish with your bare hands. Holy. Damn, I actually didn't notice this ladder last time. All right. Can I jump down here or something? No. Is that a gun here? No, no, it's a... Uh... What do you call this in English? I forgot. I forgot. All right, kind of want to go. I uh, kind of want to go back to the uh, to the private beach and try and get that uh, fish. I kind of want to do that. Uh, before we actually continue doing anything else. Uh, did I talk to you? Yes, I did. There's an email for Xion. Read that email. Oh, that's him. Pink bug. He sent me the picture. Here's the pic, pink bug. Hey, Xion, how are you? I'm sending a picture for you. Do you see something in the upper left side of the picture? Oh! <laughs> it 
Seems like this ghost is really fond of you, Xion. He must have become a, a spirit and traveled all the way here. Don't worry though, he seems like a nice ghost. Okay then, take care, take care, bye. The motherfucking alien! <laughs> <laughs> Creepy! This is creepy! She's not gonna comment on that at all? She's not gonna comment on that at all? This is creepy as shit. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and try and grab, uh... I don't know. Uh, try and catch, uh... Some fish? <laughs> now, it was something that uh, got lost here, and... Uh, well, you can catch fish if you use the fish detector. Go catch fish? Hell yeah. What the hell? Who can't actually see the fish? Got a big fish. Well, is that how you... <laughs> is that how you catch fish? And we didn't get catch fish. We got an engagement ring. A necessary item that we'll need later. That was easy. <laughs> Don't lose uh, this item, or else. Cut a fish that looks uh, familiar. It has to be different. Cut a small fish. Obtained mid kit. Uh -huh. Nothing. So these are gonna give uh, random items. Now, uh, what about the one uh, next to it? Uh, was that this one? So I got both of them. Uh, I guess it's uh, kind of hard to, to keep up uh, if you caught a fish uh, that you already caught or not. That's a new one. Speed stem. Alright. I guess that's all the fish, right? Did someone ask for a for an engagement ring? Yeah, viewers, you can tell that <laughs> it's been a while since uh, the last uh, streaming session. But I think I remember that someone uh, uh, we came by someone that, that was uh, trying to find uh, some sort of a an engagement ring. I might be wrong though. I might be wrong though. Uh, before we uh. We do anything, viewers. 
Uh, I want to go back to the launch pad for a second before we go to the uh, to the to the, uh, the city sectors. This port is exclusive for departure and arrival of shuttles between the Durandale and the Foundation. Yeah, I want to go back to the Durandale for a uh, for a brief moment, viewers. Beyond the launch is the Durandale. Uh, it's like a fairy tale castle, isn't it wonderful? You mean uh, beyond the launch pad? I came here from Second Milsha as a maintenance engineer for the environmental bug when the foundation was uh, being built. Uh, even after the construction uh, was over, I remained on the foundation. This is a great place and uh, everyone here enjoys life. Well, definitely uh, much better than uh, Melsha. Well, I guess you're uh, gonna call it Second Melsha. I don't want to talk to you, kid. Before coming here, both she and I were uh, shunned by society. Why is that? I can understand that they felt uh, threatened by people with special powers. But we never had any intentions to use our powers against them. What kind of powers were you guys using? The Life Recycling Act gave uh, rise to many people with abnormal powers. Are you... Uh, I, th I thought... Uh That was, uh, you know, it was for, uh, what you call it, for, uh, for, re for, uh, for realians. I was about to say, uh, Raven Tales. Now that's another game, Raven Tales. <laughs> Why did I remember Raven Tales? These people became the target of prosecution and, uh, discrimination because of their abilities, at their appearances, and, uh, uh, air about them were a little different. Mm hmm. Uh, in the real world, people only judge you uh, by your outer appearance, not your abilities. Normal people were uh, probably afraid of the possibility that they could eventually be ruled by these people. A law that was created to make people happier ended up making people suffer. Did it really? After the uh, Species Prevention Act was in initiated, was instituted, uh, those types of uh, instances stopped happening on the surface, but the situation hasn't really changed. I was looking uh, for the... Uh, I was looking for a place where I fit in. Not a for the place, for a place. Yeah, I corrected your ass. Uh, might as well read about these, right? A life recycling act? Life Recycling Variant? Not a lot of uh, reading material. Uh, Life Recycling Act, introduced as a bill in uh, TC 4590. It passed uh, with unusual speed and was voted into law uh, the following year in 4591. Uh, in the age when cyber technology was uh, at its peak, human resources were dwindling and this law was in, uh, intended for effective utilization of these resources. Humans as resources. However, with time, the, uh, the interpretation of the law expanded uh, to condone human uh, cloning, genetic and neural engineering and other procedures formerly considered to be off-limits. Huh. It's pretty much... Uh, uh, experimenting, uh, experimenting on humans, on dead humans, and bring them to life. Various corporate, uh, corporate interests uh, are suspected to be behind this development. This law remained in effect for 160 years until it was revoked in 4754 Okay So 
now people can uh, clone people then do some genetic engineering on them well, well I guess what about the life recycling variant Life recycling variant, a term which uh, encompasses individuals or their descendants who have uh, had their DNA, neurostructure, or other biological components heavily modified. Uh, some may display extraordinary physical abilities or superhuman powers depending on the level of modification. But on the other hand, many suffer from adverse mental effects. Okay, so that probably, uh, uh, I think, uh, Mary, uh, and, uh, the other chick fallen, fall into, uh, this category of, uh, of individuals that, uh, had their, uh, you know, their DNA heavily modified. Uh, in the case of Chernikov, he was part of a super soldier program developed by a certain branch of the military. He was created via artificial insemination Ew. and equipped with several modifications before being sent off to battle. Holy! Uh, check under a... Uh... I forgot his name. Check under the chair? Is that what his name was? They never mentioned that he was uh, like a an, uh, like a super soldier or anything. They've never mentioned that. Are they gonna mention this in the future? I, I don't know. There was one other act that I actually want to read about. I think your aliens are treated the same. Perhaps the real aliens feel the same way. Oh, I'm missing a, on a dialogue. I think if I go in and out, uh, she, uh, her dialogue is going to reset. So I'm going to do that. I might actually do that after I talk to everyone here. Because uh, I, I just want to... I just want to know about the other act. Because I, uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, those of you uh, taking the shuttle to the Durandale, please board the vessel. Okay. They didn't mention anything about the fucking Chernikov being a super soldier. He definitely didn't act like one. Not at all. He didn't even display any, uh, any uh, special, you know, special abilities or whatnot. Yeah, Species Pre Preservation Act. Yeah, this is the one that I'm trying to find. Everything has changed drastically since I came here, however. It soothed uh, my scarred and cowardly heart. I learned that people can respect one another. Yeah. Big mistake, amigo. <laughs> Uh, species Pre Preservation Act. Yeah. Alright. Uh, species Pre uh, Preservation Act. A law in enacted in order to re uh, revive the human race, which had uh, degenerated due to the harmful effect of Life re Recycling Act. Okay. Sounds like this uh, Life Recycling Act is gonna uh, play a like a major part of this game's world. The purpose behind this uh, legislation was uh, to uh, preserve and propagate a pure breed of human that was untouched by genetic engineering, cloning, or organ enhancements. Oh shit, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> What are they gonna? Are we gonna call them the Master la Race later? Hmm? 
It also strove uh, to restore the original genetic t code that had been altered by the Life Recycling Act. So, uh... Humans uh, are, you know, did they... Did the humans uh, get modified uh, beyond uh, the ability to restore them to uh, the, uh, where they, uh... To where, uh, to, you know... To, uh, to its f uh, first form? I don't know. Due to the fact that uh, enforcement is left to the discretion of each uh, autonomous state, there is, a point, uh, there is a pointed lack of standardization and effectiveness across the, uh, of, across the multitude of jurisdictions. Oh, well, that makes sense. So we're talking about, you know... Talking about... Uh, space uh, states. And unions. Yeah, Shelly and Mary. Yeah, Shelly and Mary. 22? She's 22. So, so the year is uh, 40, uh, 47, 67, huh? 47, 67. Alright. Togashi? Who the hell is Togashi? A younger colleague of Alan? I don't know why I uh, started reading this. Togashi joined uh, Victor's uh, first R&D division uh, right after the incident in which Cosmos went out of control. He finds great satisfaction in giving his mentor, Alan, a hard time. His hobby is Judo, and he is uh, in love with uh, Miyuki, maybe. Miyuki? Who the hell is Miyuki? Is, it, is it she the one that... Uh that uh, send uh, stuff for us. And she's 20 years old. System programmer of Victor's uh, first uh, R&D division. She is a younger colleague of Shion's and quite a mechanical otaku. Ew. She uh, submits uh, a patent application as a hobby. What? And constantly creates new inventions using Xion and the others as guinea pigs. I think I've read that before. As her supervisor, Xion is plagued by her constant uh, expense authorization requests. Her full name is Miyuki Itsumi, and in a way, she is a woman very true to her ambitions. Alright, I guess, uh, yeah, I think well, I've read that before. And I think uh, the other guy that we read uh, before, it's, uh, he's one of the the people that worked uh, uh, that were on uh, on the Woglende with us when we worked on uh, Cosmos. Yeah. Anyway, I'm wasting a lot of time, viewers. So let's go ahead and go back to to the Darren during there uh, momentarily. There's one thing that I actually just want to do. And then I'm gonna come back here immediately and continue exploring uh, the city sectors. Cosmos still uh, not with us, which is, um, well, I guess it's interesting. Can I actually find her in the Durandale or uh, in the uh, Elsa? Hmm. All right, we're. Uh, Maybe I'll try staying at the Foundation's hotels after all. I don't. I want to explore. Oh my goodness. I guess I can't go uh, where I want to go. Yeah, I wanted to go to the park viewers and try to find uh, that. Uh, uh, what you call it? I wanted to go to the park and try and find that Sigmund key, but I guess. Uh, uh, the game won't allow us. The game won't allow us. It is what it is, I guess. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year. Whoa. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm singing, uh... Uh, Christmas song in August. 
<laughs> it's even hot. It's too hot to be Christmas. Well, I guess uh, c you can have Christmas in a in a in a, in a warm uh, in a warm area if you live uh, in the southern hem hemisphere. You know, Australia or I don't know or South Africa or in Brazil. I think. All right, let's go back to the city sectors and uh, continue where we left off. I don't know if I need to bring the engagement ring uh, for anyone here. I think there is someone here that was crying about an engagement ring. Was it here? Was it here? I think there was someone that was crying about an engagement ring. Is it you? I think it's you. <laughs> this is my engagement ring. You want? You went and found it uh, for me. Sniff. Thank you. Now I can go to uh, to him. This is just a token of my appreciation. Please take it. I think it'll come in handy. Obtain decoder uh, number eight. Holy, that will uh, come in handy. Thanks. Sniff, sniffs. I will find happiness. Sniff, sniffs. Thank you. All right. Did we find uh, door number eight, though? Mm, we did. Where is it? It's inside the Elsa. I mean, we can go back and check it out. I can go back and check it out right now. I mean... Hmm. Is it going to be worth it? So, uh, there is a, uh, did I get the PM card? There is, uh, an item. Yeah, I don't wanna, sorry for, uh, spoiling. Yeah, I got the PM card. I got the PM card. I got, uh, the fish detector. And I got the engagement ring. There are, uh... Two items that I uh, care about getting uh, that I think we'll, uh, we're gonna get uh, uh, in, you know, in uh, the other section of the city. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Durandale and uh, open up uh, that door. Uh, sorry, uh, on the Elsa. On board of the Elsa and uh, go and open door number eight. Yeah, sorry about that, viewers. Gonna see you watch me go back and forth. Hey, have a nice day. Uh, the other Let's Players actually cut off their... Uh, their traveling time. Why don't you do that? Well, uh, first and foremost... Uh, you think I'm a professional uh, content creator? <laughs> Second of all, uh, the journey isn't that far. Usually I do that, for those who don't know. I actually do uh, do cut and edit if uh, necessary, uh, but uh, if it's not that uh, far, if the uh, journey is not that far, I'm not gonna cut. Oh, please don't tell me you're not gonna allow me to enter the Elsa. Hey, you look awfully bored. Want me to take you uh, to the dock colony or something? What? Dock colony? I see. Might be a good idea to just uh, wander around for a while. I mean... I don't want to advance anything though. Yes? Alright. Let's make a quick uh, run to the uh, dock colony. I'm gonna charge uh, you up for... Oh! Are we going going back to to uh, to Elsa? To uh, sorry to to Melcha? Oh, okay. Did he actually charge me? He didn't charge. I didn't know that we can do that. But how the hell can I? I want to go on board of the Elsa though. Oh, I didn't know that you can do that, but. I got your husband's, uh... 
Think I'm a jig. My husband loves a uh, fishing. It's such a problem. He goes fishing every chance he gets. It's really an addiction. But the other day, he lost uh, a tool called a fish detector. I do have it. You're not gonna have that? Okay, I know all about that. Did he buy another one? Sure, uh, that if I went to the clean, that to the cleaners on the foundation right now, I'd find the fish detectors, but it's very far from here. Well, oh, well, that was yeah, that was useless then. Uh, but good thing that we actually, uh, had the ability to go back, because we can do something else here. Oh, not here. We can do something else here, because, uh... Uh, what was her name, Luddy? I think his n her name is Luddy, and, uh... Uh, she doesn't have the ability to speak for some reason, and, uh... She shows, uh, she shows, uh, an interest in taking care of plants. On her original uh, planet that got disappeared, and we got some flower plants. Let's see if that's gonna help her. Hello! <laughs> Here's a present. Will you take care of it uh, for me? It should blossom into a pretty flower. Gave her a flower seed. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, Yoda, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a Yoda that doesn't talk. Alright, are you taking care of the flowers? Do you, uh, do your best to, to get it to, to bloom pretty flowers, okay? <laughs> I might actually need to come back here later to, to check on the progress. So, we'll do that. Anyone here is going to report about that? They worked so hard, such a big difference from my grandchild. She won't talk. Yeah, nothing new here. How fat is, uh, Junior? Wait. What are you still living, uh, Ariadne? I don't care. 38 kilograms. Man, this is stupid. 140? 140? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 140? How old wa was I when I uh, reached uh, 140? I'm uh, 181, by the way, viewers. I think that translates uh, f for, uh, to... Uh, uh, 511 for those who uh, uh, who live in uh, in America that still use uh, feet <laughs> for goddamn uh, for measuring uh, distance and whatnot feet Yeah, let's go back. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think there are, we have a way for us to get on board of the Elsa. Although I kind of want to. Maybe momentarily uh, we won't be able to do that. Maybe there's an another entrance. Yeah, and an another. Maybe if I talk to the other people or anything. Well, I guess not. Well, it is what it is. Well, we managed to do, uh, what we could. Yeah, and we still can't do anything, so, uh, might as well, uh... Yeah, we just have to continue our, uh... Our exploration session through the city. Believe it or not, viewers, this game 
This game isn't that long, actually. Like, you know, normally people would... Uh, if you actually go check on uh, how fast people uh, finish this game, they can finish it in less than 40 hours. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, my uh, playthrough of this game is not going to be 40 hours, definitely. It's going to take uh, much, much more than that, because I, I take my time. I take my time, but uh, I think uh, this one isn't that long, and the second game is going to be even shorter than that, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, viewers. I don't know about the third one. I, as I told you before, guys, I've never played the third one. I'm ecstatic though. I'm uh, looking forward to actually jump on the uh, on the third game and see this. Uh, see this. Uh, this series uh, to its conclusion. Took me what? Took me. Uh, I think the third game came out, uh, came in 2007, or something like that. Yeah, pretty, pretty late in the uh, life cycle of the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 4 is already, uh, well, PlayStation 3 was already out. PlayStation 4. <laughs> Did I just say PlayStation 4? Oh, is that it? Is that it? Okay, I thought there was gonna be another section, but I think we've explored uh, everywhere. Here. All right, I thought there was gonna be another section in the city, but never mind. Never mind uh, me. Of course, I can't go there for some reason. And here, Ake's Parts Shop and Foundation Robot Academy. Yeah, let's go there. I don't remember where, uh, what we can find here, but we might actually find the uh, the rest of the items that I'm trying to find. Uh, garage eggs. Does that does that say Valitudo? No, I think Valitudo is uh, V A double L E. Oh, be careful with those, uh, be careful with those. All those lined up there are weapons for eggs. They're all incredibly powerful and, uh, could easily blow this shop away. Not that they're, uh, the, not that uh, there are things that people, uh, could operate by hand anyway. There's a game machine. Would you like to play? Well, is this gonna be, like, uh... Is it gonna be, uh, like, uh, one of the casino games? Or just an arcade game? Welcome to the world of uh, Destroy Runner. This is just a simple quiz game that requires absolutely no strength or reflex skills. Question 1. What's the name of the part shop uh, on the dock colony? Uh, I think it's Talk To Me. Correct! Uh, is there a penalty for failing this? Like, I'm okay, I'm actually trying it, but I don't want to have a penalty for failing this. Like, uh, I'm gonna get locked uh, away from getting an item that is necessary. Let me actually double check here. I'm not, I'm not actually seeing anything. Uh, what's the name of the eccentric professor at the Foundation Robot Academy? I don't know. It's definitely not Vandercom. Great, Scott! No? Alright. Wrong! What? You get zapped for failing? Are you kidding me? You get zapped for failing? Oh, we don't lose the health though. We don't lose the health though. Can we? Can we try it again? Hmm. 
I mean, we can get, get it through, uh... Tom. Definitely not Tom or Scott. Yeah, <laughs> you! We're gonna come back to this later. Uh... Let me double check. Uh... What's the name of the game? What's the name of the game? Yeah, I'm checking my list, by the way, viewers. Uh... Simple questions. The an um, there's the answers there. They actually gave me the answer for this one. Uh, for winning this, uh, you get a PM card C. Uh, let me let me look around. Let me look around. I'm gonna try this legit. I'm gonna try this uh, legit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, like cheat. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna try and look around and see, uh... And see, uh... If I can do it legit or not. Uh, did you try that quiz game? There's quite a number of difficult questions. I've tried it... I've tried, uh... Beating it several times, but I can't, uh, do it at all. Uh, it's a process of elimination, goddammit. If you don't uh, know the answers... Well, I guess, uh... The problem is, uh, get, getting zapped. I don't lose uh, health next time uh, for the second time, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at these eggs. Take a look at this. It's uh, Victor's popular motor, the VX series. It's awesome. Those beautiful lines are irresistible. 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 Did you just say irresistible? Why is he hitting uh, the bench here? Or uh, the facilities here are first rate, even comparable to the military uh, to the to the military's hangars. We have uh, plenty of uh, different parts, and we can even restore FHP. All right. Super... Super bargain? Tuning and parts. Uh, tuning and parts. Tuning. <laughs> tuning and parts, have a nice day. Tuning! 